Welcome back, Girish. Thank you, Prana. Okay, uh, we just finished swaps in the previous videos, and we are looking at some kind of major currencies of the yes, world. Yes, these slides are very general in uh, nature. How important are this for uh, the NISM examination? You can get some uh, basic questions from this slide. Not very difficult. Okay. Uh, very general questions. Okay, so let's let's quickly look at it. Yeah. Then. Major currencies of the world, uh, as you all know, dollar is the major currency. It dominates the entire currency market. Right. And most widely used in the world, also known as reserve currency. Very important. Why is it known as a reserve currency? Because most of the countries like to keep their reserves in terms of dollars. So I just write it down. Dollar is called reserve currency because most currency, most countries, countries yes. keep their reserves in dollars. Yeah. Whenever you talk about uh, India's forex reserve, it is already quoted in dollars. Yes, reserve in primarily because uh, it is the main dollars funding currency in the world. Absolutely. And it is also known as a vehicle currency mm -hmm. as it is the most liquid currency. Now we'll uh, have a look at this. It's also the most liquid, liquid currency. currency. Okay. So why a vehicle currency? Because for example, if you want to trade in an illiquid currency, say for example, uh, Italian peso. Mm -hmm. So you want to, you have to take a three, three way conversion. Mm -hmm. You have to convert your rupees into dollar. dollars and then dollar into peso. peso. Yeah. Right. So basically you use uh, dollar as a vehicle to convert two currencies. Okay, so let me just uh, write this down. For example, if you if you have rupees mm -hmm. and let's say you want to convert it into like an Italian peso. Peso. Uh, I'm not but too aware of the short form of this, but so you really cannot do it directly because uh, it's, a very peso is not a, it's a very illiquid, illiquid uh, currency. Market. You won't find uh, many buyers or sellers of Italian peso. So what so you'll have to do is rupees, you'll have to go to a dollar. Dollar. And from a dollar, you'll have to convert to a, let's say, an Italian peso. Yes, because you can find a liquid market for both these currencies. Three-way movement. Yeah. So you are using dollar as a vehicle to convert your rupees into peso. So that's why it's called a vehicle, vehicle currency. Vehicle currency, naturally. So I think from this example, it becomes absolutely clear yes. that why it's called a vehicle currency. Yes. Let's go back and. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's also known as greenback in forex lingo. Yes, uh, it's just because of the, the print of the dollar note. Mm -hmm. Okay. Second most important currency is your uh, euro. Yes. Common currency of 16 European nations. Absolutely. Came into being in like 1999, and it has emerged as the most traded in recent time, next to US dollar. Okay. And the third most important currency is your Japanese yen. Mm -hmm. It's the third most traded currency. It's a highly liquid market. Okay. Large business volumes between Japan and US is the primary reason for popularity of the Naturally, yen. because yeah. because they have business interest there, so the, the, it has to be a very liquid currency. And uh, the British pound. pound yeah. Once it was a heavily traded currency, more traded than the dollar. But after the Second World War, it has lost some of its significance. Mm -hmm. And uh, one more important thing, it is nicknamed as cable. Okay. Right. Why, why is it called cable? Any specific reason? Uh, yes, uh, yeah. prior to second world war, you know, when uh, the currency trading was done, it was mainly through these cables. You used to send your codes through this cable. Okay. So that's why it was known as cable. Okay. So yeah. so I think I think from, from an ASM perspective, I think that the question that can come is like, uh, which, which currency, currency is called cable? cable. Okay. Perfect. You have uh, different currencies which have nickname like uh, Kiwis for your New Zealand dollar. Let's let's just quickly write it down. You're saying Kiwi, yeah, is for the New Zealand dollar. New Zealand dollar, and okay. And uh, you have Looney, Looney, yeah, which is, is the Canadian dollar. Canadian dollar, right. which is the Canadian dollar. Yeah, again, some market convention. I think logical. Cable entry. you said is for the British pound. British pound, and greenback for your US dollar. Greenback you're saying is for the Green. US dollar. USD. Any other of any significance that comes no, to your mind? These are the major things. No. Perfect. So, overview of the international yes. currency market. Most of these topics we have covered round the clock market, major centers of currency trading. Okay. Uh, New York, London, Tokyo, Hong Kong, mostly your European and Asian markets. Right. Uh, volumes are maximum when both American and European markets are open. Right. Uh, naturally. Majority of trading done by commercial and investment banks, mm -hmm. again uh, because of their sheer volumes. Right. 
द एक्सचेंज रेट ऑफ मेजर करेंसीज आर ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर इन ऑल फाइनेंशियल सेंटर्स वेर देर इज एक्टिव ट्रेडिंग अंडरस्टूड राइट एंड इकोनॉमिक वेरिएबल्स इम्पैक्टिंग एक्सचेंज रेट these are basic basic yes, read yes. through so i i guess there's nothing much here to learn mm-hmm. except just just go give a read through mm-hmm. and it's also a recapturing of of the videos that we've done so far yes. so interest rate inflation figures gdp numbers employment rate balance of payment etc yeah. are yeah. the variables a basic thumb rule is that uh, any indicator which suggests that your economy is strengthening would definitely have a positive effect on the currency so if you talk about uh, indian rupee anything which suggests that our economy is strengthening will have a positive impact on the rupee so indicators suggesting positive economic environment yeah. will naturally have a positive yeah. impact on that currency so for example if you are getting a good trade data or a better than expected gdp data for your indian economy right. you'll see that rupee would appreciate so but again it's a thumb rule it's not necessary so gdp that. data improving there's a possibility i'll say yeah. Possib- most of the cases there is possibility that the indian rupee will appreciate indian rupee will appreciate indian rupee will appreciate which consequently would also mean that the dollar would depreciate yeah. in terms of the indian rupee yeah. dollar depreciates in terms of indian rupee perfect so let's just have a look at the indicators once again you said uh, uh, the uh, the most important indicator while uh, judging currencies is the interest rate mm-hmm. yeah. so for example a currency which has a higher interest rate okay will definitely be more uh, expensive than other currencies okay so if you take an example of a euro dollar quote mm-hmm. uh euro has a interest rate higher than uh, dollar mm-hmm. so definitely euro is always uh, stronger than dollar understood because understood. of uh, interest rate differential which will be studying later okay perfect so indicators which suggest that the economy is strengthening have a positive effect on mm-hmm. the currency naturally this is what we've just uh, discussed perfect so uh, next is the derivative segment yes i guess what we should do is we should take the derivatives in the next video definitely let's uh, let's quickly wind this up and yeah let's topic. quickly wind this up and and let's starting the derivative segment i actually the whole study start from there yes right so